Awesome. How stinking cute was that? That is my little friend Peyton. Um, thank you, uh, Scott and Peyton, for being huge fans of the show and for watching my videos. Thank you for sending that in. That made my day. Seriously, that is amazing. Thank you so much, Peyton. You're freaking adorable. Please don't take my job. Okay? Um, <laughs> That really, that really is awesome and um, just honestly uh, blows my mind to see stuff like that. So thank you everybody who watches these videos and, and comments and, and shares and all that kind of stuff. I really, I appreciate it so very, very much. So um, I haven't done a lot of videos lately. I've been very busy uh, directing a play um, and uh, I'm going to get even busier these next cute few weeks. But Try Treats came a couple of weeks ago, um, and uh, I think it's about time that I uh, tried these treats. So I got some free time in my schedule, and I'm like, let's do this. So Try Treats is a monthly subscription in which you uh, get a box full of goodies from around the world. Uh, this month's box theme is apparently England, so we're going to jet off to the UK for a special Try Treats uh, event here. Um, nice thing about Try Treats, they, they include this little photo um, in, in the box and then there's like a little postcard. Uh, greetings from Treats. This month's Treats come to you all the way from the United Kingdom, the country of the Union Jack. The United Kingdom is made up of several countries, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. And as such, it contains an incredibly diverse culture, which is reflected in the range of its snacks. In this box, you will, you will find snacks ranging from recent innovative creations, such as Guinness beer flavored potato chips, to traditional classics, such as fruit gums, which have been around since 1893. That's kind of the cool thing about, like, Tri Treats, is some of these snacks, some of these countries and stuff, they've been around for a long time, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you will also find snacks with a strong local heritage, such as shortbread fingers by Walkers, which have been exclusively baked in Scotland since 1898. Again, you know, over 100 years old. Uh, we made sure to include a well-balanced mix of savory snacks and sweets and biscuits, and we hope you enjoy the snacks we selected. Sit back, relax, and take a culinary journey to the United Kingdom through its snacks. Bon appetit! Treats team. So that's really cool. I, I like this little postcard thing that they do. Um, I think it really um, kind of, it's just kind of a nice little, it's almost like you're getting a package from somebody in the UK type of a thing. You know, they're telling us about it, everything like that. Uh, Try Treats comes packaged very adorably. Uh, it also comes wrapped in um, paper. So the box doesn't get sealed itself, it's wrapped in paper. And it looks super suspicious when it shows up on your doorstep. So I just thought I would point that out. Because I'm pretty sure my mailman thinks I'm a perv now. Um, so let's see what we got here. All right. So in this month's box, there's a little cheat card always. So let's pull that out. And the first thing here on the treat card is Burt's Chips by Guinness. Ooh. Burt's Chips combine the savory flavor of potato chips with the bittersweet taste of Guinness beer. Made from only the best potatoes, they are hand-cooked in small batches so they turn brown and crisp evenly. Uh, so it's like a kettle chip uh, flavored with Guinness, I guess. I am not a big stout fan. Um, oh, those... Mm, okay. Not a big stout fan, so I'm not sure how these are going to taste. But let's give it a try. They smell very... Um, very kind of spicy, not spicy, but like um, earthy. They smell like earthy, like, yeah. Uh, 
Um, I, I don't know. I'm not terribly familiar with the flavor of Guinness, so I couldn't 100% tell you whether or not they're, you know, meeting that flavor. Um, well, the chip itself is is good. It's like a thick, hearty chip. The flavor is not bad. Um, yeah, it's not bad. I, I, I'm not, um, eh, I don't know. I, I definitely wouldn't um, seek these out or anything like that, but they're not the worst thing in the world. Uh, next up, we have Shortbread Fingers by Walkers. Shortbread Fingers are a type of Scottish biscuit baked from a recipe handed down through generations of the Walker family. They are all natural and contain no artificial flavorings, colors, or preservatives. These are Walker's Pure Butter Shortbread. I like shortbread. So, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, and it's like, they got the little, uh, this is a best before November 2016, so I'm just getting under the gun. Uh, let's see. I want to... The, these chips, they, they're so strong smelling. Um, honestly, that's awful. Uh, let's see. Oh, they smell very buttery. Oh, they smell really buttery. All right, let's take one out here. Wow. Oh, my God. They smell like a, like a really buttery shortbread. Let's take the taste. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's delicate. Oh yeah, that's a good shortbread right there. That is a really good shortbread. I like that. That is fantastic. So, good on you, Scotland. These are amazing. They do their shortbread right. All right. What's next? Oh, there's a lot of stuff in this box. Uh, next up on the list is Fruit Gums by Round Trees. So we got Round Trees Fruit Gums. Uh, fruit Gums are chewy fruit flavored gummies that contain real fruit juice and no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Initially introduced back in 1893, Fruit Gums are a timeless classic British treat. I feel like this is going to be like a really, like, Real chewy, chewy, chewy kind of thing. Like a, like a dark, like a black licorice kind of chewy. Uh, I feel like, although it's actually, it's kind of soft. So let's see. Yeah, this is like a jujube on, on steroids. Um... It's really chewy, but this is lime. Ooh. Oh. Like, that's a real lime flavor. It's not overly fake tasting. These are really good. These are really good. And it's not, like, super chewy. Um, like, it wasn't super difficult once I started chewing on it. It really started to uh, to melt down a little bit. Ah, all right. Next up, we have Arrow Peppermint Bar by Nestle. Arrow Peppermint Bars are chocolate bars with a mint flavored filling consisting of tiny air bubbles. The air bubbles give Arrow Bars a bubbly texture, enabling the chocolate to melt in your mouth when you chew on it. This does not appear to be a Peppermint arrow. This appears to be a regular arrow. Uh, so, no big deal. Let's see how it tastes. I think I've had these before. I think Hershey um, had an arrow bar at one point, or like a bubble. I don't know. I remember I had something like this before. I don't know where I got it from. Um, it, it's weird. Uh, it's a weird texture. Uh, that kind of looks inappropriate, if you ask me. Uh, let's see what we got here. 
So uh, when you crack it open, um, the um, there's like some inside there, and you can see like the bubbles almost looks kind of almost like like a honeycomb type of a pattern. See, it's no, this is regular. This isn't a peppermint. I mean, not that big of a deal, but whatever. It's it's so weird to bite into if you're not used to it. It's so weird. It's good. The chocolate's good. I mean, it's Nestle. It's it's not gonna be bad chocolate, but it's just because it it like crumbles, almost like a like a cookie when you first bite into it, and then it kind of starts to melt. It's very very interesting. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. Uh, I kind of like it. It's not bad. Uh, it's good chocolate, so that helps, obviously. And last up, we have the Lion Bar. Rawr. This is also by Nestle. So I wonder if Nestle is just like a bigger in uh, the UK or if they're initially from the UK, maybe? Um, because there's two Nestle things in a row now. Uh, and actually, I think these are also made by Nestle. Um, Lion Bars are made from a creamy wafer filling, which is covered by a layer of caramel and further coated in milk, chocolate, and rice crisps. The different layers of the bar give it a texture that is both chewy and crispy. That sounds fantastic. Uh, this is the new extra crispy recipe Lion Bar. So looking forward to this. So far, I mean, the, the chips were weird tasting, but otherwise, uh, the, the UK is crushing it with the snacks. Absolutely crushing it with the snacks. Let's take a bite of this lion bar. So, it's like a Kit Kat, and um, it's like a Kit Kat, and a Nestle Crunch, and a, like a Twix, all in one. And it's pretty fantastic. That's pretty fantastic. I like that a lot. So, overall, these were all pretty good. Minus the chips. The chips were not... The chips were not that good. So, if you're ever in the UK, uh, pick yourself up some fruit gums, or some arrow, or some killer shortbread, or get yourself a lion bar, and enjoy the snacks that the UK has to offer. And, um, and yeah, I will see you next time. Uh, I don't know what to expect for next month. The nice thing about Tri Treats is until it arrives, I don't know what I'm getting. Until I open the box, I have no idea what the, what the theme, what the month is going to be, what the country is going to be. So that's really, really kind of an exciting thing. It's, it, once it's there and I'm ready to go, that's when I'm finding it out. So, very, very cool. Very excited to see what next month has to offer. Uh, so thank you so much. If you have not already, please like this video. Show me some love. Hit me up with a comment. Uh, you can also uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Um, and that would be wonderful of you. Uh, and uh, check out some of my other videos. Um, I would appreciate uh, that as well. And I will see you next time. Hey, Peyton, one more time.